This morning, an urgent warning to Americans around the world. The State Department saying it is concerned about the threat of terrorist attacks carried out in retaliation for the death of Ayman al-Zawahri. The bulletin warning of a higher potential for anti-American violence, saying U.S. citizens overseas could be at risk of assassinations, kidnappings, hijackings and bombings. This as new details emerge about the final moments for the world's most wanted terrorist. Al-Zawahri believed to have met his end in this apartment. Satellite images showing the building in a crowded upscale Kabul neighborhood. And this photo circulating online showing the aftermath. The blown out windows of that apartment where the White House says Al-Zawahri was killed while standing on the balcony struck down by U.S. Hellfire missiles. Those missiles likely flying Ginzus, called that because they launch six long blades to kill a human target while sparing those standing just feet away, experts praising the precision strike. No one else has this capacity to pinpoint a target like this, uh, not only in terms of location, but in terms of time uh, based on the intelligence and then strike uh, from afar. President Biden seen in this White House photo being briefed on July 1st. Inside that box on the table, a model of the safe house. But now the administration facing new questions about whether pulling American troops from Afghanistan last year created a safe haven for terrorists. 